While playing GTA Liberty City Stories, I walked around all over Liberty City, looking at the peds, and especially at the cars passing by. And I always wondered, are these cars the same or do they have different variations? After looking at all the vehicles in the game, I came to the conclusion that some vehicles can spawn with different variations. I'll start with Landstalker. This car has three variations. In the first, this car may have boxes in the trunk, or have roof rails, or have absolutely nothing. Deimos SP in the first case may have a roof covered with glass. In the second case, there may be no roof. Patriot has four variations, and mainly the rear part can be changed. For cars such as Manana, Stinger, Stallion, and Phobos VT, either there is a roof or there is not. Taxis may have a different sign on the roof. Also, this car may have a different bumper color, or the color of the bumper will match the color of the entire car. I don't know if there are taxis without signs on the roof, like in previous GTA games, but I could be wrong. Mr. Whoopi may have two different inscriptions on the back or the back of the van may be empty. Hearse may have coffin at the back. Barracks OL can have a closed body or an open one, or can have a metal frame. There is also a fourth variation. There is ammunition on the back of the truck. This variation is mainly used in some missions. Bickle 76 has a different sign on the roof. Also, this car can spawn without signs on the roof. A fire truck may have a unique number on the side and back. This is probably the end. Maybe there will be a similar video in GTA Vice City Stories, but I don't think there are quite a lot of vehicles there with different variations. Well, we'll see how things go.